Spotlight On, the show where Broadway stars, celebrities, and influential people take a step out of their custom spotlight to shine a bright on a cause that's near and dear to them. And we introduce you to an amazing organization within that cause. We are continuing our Pairs That Care series, and we have quite a pair for you today. We really do. We have Constantine Maroulis and Angel Reed. How are you guys? Talk to me a little bit about your experience, um, theater, and just in the spotlight in general. Sure. Well, we met in the original company of Rock of Ages, first off-Broadway here in New York, and then on Broadway. Uh, uh, we led the show to five Tony nominations, including Best Musical, and uh, no. Um, <laughs> of course, we were just a small part of the, uh, of the big... Uh, the big crew over there. Uh, we had an incredible run many, many years on Broadway and I took the show uh, across the country and was a part of the film and we, ha we now have a four-year-old daughter. Amazing. So yes. we, do, um, we, do, we do a lot of stuff together. We've worked on some new projects. She has a project called Rock and Roll Debauchery that she does. It's a dance concert piece uh, all over the city, um, building momentum. With Rock and Roll Debauchery, it's sort of um, if you will, you, um, all of my musical theater friends and I, it's kind of like our, our way of performing with our alter ego. <laughs> we take a lot of songs from mostly 60s, 70s classic rock songs and we, are, we rearrange them and we make new uh, musical arrangements out of it and we set choreography, we do storytelling. Spotlight On is where um, the couples in the spotlight, pairs that care, will then shine their spotlight on a cause that is very near and dear to them and you guys have chosen dance and arts education and extracurricular activities for children and I'm guessing your daughter plays a small part in that or did you were you always involved in that cause? I think that definitely becoming a mother and I, I mean you know I left the show again when I had Milena so I started exploring opportunities of more teaching and, and, and giving back and um, exploring ways to get kids involved in the arts and so my, yeah Milena was definitely a huge influence for that. Yeah, so we, um, w look, we've, we, I've, been, I've been quite blessed. I was born in New York City. I know um, about how kids don't have the opportunity to, to, you know, train like this and to be a part of something so positive all the time. And, uh, you know, we're in a great situation. I know some other kids aren't. And, you know, if we can bring awareness to, like, what they're doing over there and, and help other kids potentially less fortunate um, to be a part of that great experience and grow and you know hopefully it'll point them in a positive direction. You have chosen to shine your spotlight on dance education and arts education and to have some fun we're going to have freeze dance with Constantine and Angel. So ready? Hit it. We just had Angel and Constantine, our pair that cares the series, and they shown the, they shine the spotlight on dance and arts education, and specifically the National Dance Institute. And we're very excited and honored to have we have the creative artistic director, Ellen Weinstein of the National Dance Institute, and the founder of the National Dance Institute, Jacques Dembois. I started at seven, the, uh, ballet, was balancing choreograph for me at eight. I joined New York City Ballet at 15, and I danced till I was 50. And Ellen's, uh, I was dean at the State University of New York for a while, and uh, Ellen was one of my seniors graduating. One of Jacques' students at the university. Uh, oh. And then you had your own career. Dancing, yeah. And then I found you again, Jacques. Yeah. One day <laughs> and she reconnected. said... I, I yeah. showed up at your door and I said, I've yeah. been watching what you've been doing with National Dance Institute and I want to work for you. Yeah, so we and now she runs it for and the last 20 years. Let's talk about the National Dance Institute because we haven't really gotten into yet what it is, why you, why you founded this institute and what you it's, do. It's a belief. I just felt that <clears throat> I would start a program where I invited children to dance, in particular boys, and to find them all together there in school. So during school hours, 
every, not just an audition, the whole fifth grade or the fourth grade, I think, have a dance program, but it culminates with a performance in their school. They have to show the excellence they achieve, mm -hmm. right? And Ellen runs that now, and I just get the credit. <laughs> And the impact that you are having within with your in-school programs. Correct. Uh, right. You have how many programs now? We have 11 affiliates across the country. We have a program that's flourishing in Shanghai, China, and here in New York, 42 partner schools, 6,000 children in full year programs. Oh my goodness. We're going to put the link right there where you can donate and you can get involved with National Dance Institute and you can help raise some funds. And then also within Care and Share, I believe you had some other options for people that for how they could get involved. Uh, absolutely, certainly to volunteer your time. We always looking for volunteers. We're doing an event in June with 200 dancers. And the choreography backstage, the logistics of moving the children around, we depend on volunteer help, so that's one way. Also, I was saying advocacy. I, I think it's so important that we continue to advocate for the importance of the arts in the life of a child. Please tell people how they can find you as well. On our website at nationaldance.org. We're also on 147th Street, 217 West 147th Street. Every Saturday morning, the place is filled with children and music and dance. And I mean this, you are welcome to come and observe classes. Please get involved with National Dance Institute. And of course, we leave you with this question. What cause do you shine your spotlight on? Thanks so much, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.